playing a hitchhike on Slaughterhouse means you're always going to spawn here on the generator outside of facility. I'm going to make an updated video about the trap placements uh, I did before and this strategy requires at least one of your teammate is playing either Cook, Johnny or Leatherface. I would say best case scenario you have two teammates, one is Cook and one is Leatherface. I'm going to show you the traps and then I explain the strategy what certain teammates should do. So I always love to put a trap here. This was standard back in the days and uh, then Hitchhiker stopped doing it because victims knew. Uh, the reason for that is because they can sneak in here and get to the door with the way the strategy is set up. And now we come to the first uh, teammate you have. If your teammate is a cook for example, he has to put a padlock here. He, can, he cannot collect blocker buckets, that's the most important part. He puts a padlock here and not on the gate itself. And then he kicks these crawl spaces. So this crawl space has to be kicked. And if this is open, this has also to be kicked. And then your cook is waiting here in two storage until you're done coming out of a facility. Because if victims have a good spawn and they're good and they know how to play, they can be on this left facility door by the time you leave facility. If they have a cold room spawn with a toolbox, for example. So then Cook is going to defend here. And then you're going to set up your traps. The moment you arrived here, um, the Cook goes over towards the sliding door. So this is the second trap and the cook, the moment you come in here to place this trap, since now you are here, the cook goes over towards sliding door. And the third trap is this one. You have to place this really carefully right in the middle. Um, because otherwise the victims can sneak through. I like to check it after I place this, especially if you're new. So if it looks like they can barely sneak by like this, the trap will trigger. So this trap is perfectly placed. If you have like too much space, a little bit more than this, you know it's not gonna help. And then your cook goes over towards sliding door, puts a padlock there and defends them. The um, rotation here now is that you just stay here in two storage and you protect your traps. And they can open because it's only kicked. They can be open, right? So by you just being here, you can see both your traps, you can see both the crawl spaces, and you can see the padlock from the cook. The only way to outplay this trap setup, if the victims are going up here on the ladder and over the bubble breaker ball. But if you are here and you pay attention to the noises, you will hear them if they take the bubble breaker ball. That's why it's kind of important that you always have to stay in this area. And now with this trap placement, if you defend here, you defend like right side facility, left side facility, you defend the blue container loop, you defend the right side slaughterhouse, fuse box, there's a 66% chance to be in here as it is right now. Even if the fuse box is over here, you defend it and the only thing your teammate has to defend is pressure tank and sliding door. So the other thing, let's say your teammate is ladder face. You have to be more careful about this gate. You can also hear it, the same with up here. So you can hear if they open the gate. But yeah, since there is no padlock here, you have to pay way more attention uh, towards this gate. But ladder phase spawns and beelines through the central tunnel right here into two storage and comes up instantly. Because... Now your teammate Leatherface has to defend this area before you leave facility and then your Leatherface, instead of kicking it, just destroys these crawl spaces permanently. And then your Leatherface just plays over on sliding door pressure tank area. And um, if you have Chani, it goes the same for the cock. He just kicks the crawl spaces and defends this area. And if you have uh, a cook, and a Johnny or a Cook and a Leatherface, 
you do the exact same, cook pets locks here. He, now the cook can collect buckets because Leatherface beelines it here and defends it. And then, yeah, cook plays over on sliding door, you stay here and Leatherface rotates the map and helps out the teammate. Johnny can do the same as Leatherface, he most of the time also destroys the crawl spacer quicker, so I don't mind switching out uh, Johnny for Leatherface. I do think Cook is nice though, because if you have a Leatherface and a Cook for example, the crawl space are gonna be permanently destroyed, the doors is padlocked, the gate, and now you have way more time to rotate and help your teammates. Alright, that's it, that's the upgrader trap where you require teamwork to make it work. And as you saw while I was playing here, a lot of them traps already got triggered because if they come up the basement and you chase them, they really most of the time wanna get to the blue container since it's the strongest loop in the entire game. And you should be completely fine and Slaughterhouse will be maybe one of the most fun maps for you to play in the future. All right. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was useful, I hope you like it, I hope you're gonna slay and get some 4Ks in the future with it. In case you did, make sure to like this video and as always, if you feel super nice, make sure to comment in the video below or subscribe to my channel in case you didn't already. Good luck in your next games and bye bye.